Welcome everyone to another round of Scrap Mechanic. I haven't spent a little bit since last time, but the big thing is, oh, and somehow I hooked myself on that. Uh, I have been working with expanding things. I also miraculously finally found content. It was way out there. I mean, way out there. So I'll try to remember before the end of this to go show where I found it. Maps are different for each gameplay. It's going to generate differently, but at least show you what it looks like if you're having trouble finding it. So what I want to do today is I'm experimenting with some other stuff. You can see here, I started messing with the controller and doing that. So I've got this set. So basically the controller tells it to rotate down a certain amount. So the idea being that I can maybe swing this in on the vehicle. And I was like, you know, I could use that to make a nice harvesting vehicle. Maybe even something that swings it up out of the way and then swings it down into place for harvesting and go cut trees. I've also been reading and found that you can use the welding tool to weld a tree to the platform uh, or to something like that. So yeah, I've got a tree there. Uh, well, I had the tree there. Now it's kind of just sitting there. It also just constantly makes the noise like I uh, like it's breaking or something. Come on, fall over. I, I think it's kind of stuck. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, a little stuck there, but you can weld trees to blocks, which is interesting. Also means I can carry trees around. So it's got me thinking. And what I want to do today is I basically, I feel like I need a processing station for processing the trees and making it so I can bring them back here, whether I cut them down or knock them down and just have an easy to use processing station. So I'm thinking this should work. Uh, I mean, they're close enough. You think this would work and yeah, I could do that to an engine right there. So I could just have an, an engine tied to it. And so basically I want to have it where the wood logs can, or the trees can be like attached somewhere up there and dropped in. And I feel like maybe this is a little too close now because of the ceiling to handle some of the bigger trees. It might be a case I have to break the tree in half, but I basically have a spot I can weld you know, up there and it will process it. You know, I think I'm actually going to take this whole thing out. Okay, so before I go any further, this is clipping a little bit into the blocks below. Let's make sure it's not going to like cut through those blocks. Also, that's okay. So it's clipping through the blocks, but it's not cutting my blocks, which is a good sign. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's all right. That's not going to work. Okay. Um, it's not pretty, but it should at least let me test this out. So I can't just grab, you know, I, I, I I'm just, all right. There. I keep getting stuck under the vehicle. Like, I just drive up, or I walk up to it, and it's just like, somehow I managed to nudge myself under it. And usually I could get out, but that time it didn't want to work. Alright, so we take the lower block, and we're going to go up here, and yeah, it doesn't have enough room. Okay. So we do it like that. And basically break it into pieces. Yep. Okay. And I nope, can't take that. So what I do is I'm gonna take that out, which is how I give that bit of separation. There we go. And I need to see if I can grab this that end. Yep. Okay, well it's it's not the full thing, but it at least gave me something. Why is that not working? Okay. Um, what? It's, it's not letting me disconnect those two blocks for some reason. And I have seen pictures of people doing this sort of thing where they used... They mounted trees like this for transport. I know this is supposed to work. Boom. Okay. All right. We're going to 
This is probably gonna knock it out of the way. There, okay, that one worked. All right, and it split it right away. So, yeah, that works. The idea is there. I just need to secure it a little bit better so everything will stay in. So, yeah, it's not pretty, but it should work. And to make it a little easier, hop up. <laughs> okay, that piston is not going high enough. Oh, yeah, there we go. Might help if I actually have that. There we go. That, that helps a little bit. This may be one of those pistons I really upgrade just to make this easier, not do multiple ones. Upgrade, upgrade. So now 11. This is like the most upgraded one I've got at the moment. And we're going to do this. Jump up here. I'm going to hit the button. I'm going to raise me up all nice and tall. And I go boop like that. Uh, might help if I turn that on too. Cool. Scrap engine. That will have to be replaced. Okay. That did not work as smoothly as I thought. That actually managed to get out. Okay, so the bouncing part where it's splitting, I think, is the problem area. So this should cover it. Now I just need to go get some more trees. So we're going to take that out. And... No, we'll just do it for all three like that take those out and drive leaving him just standing there perfectly fine you know totally balanced and oh yes it worked now of course it can't do anything with the block there so that's why I'll have this placed next to it. Kind of thinking I might do a combination with this one where I have this, but also have like uh, a metal refinery spot next to it. Maybe, we'll, yeah, we'll do like this. And do like that. I think I, I could do this and then do one above. There we go. And then we'll have like a refined bot right there pulling from both of them. Yeah, I need to replace that thing. That's just, that sputtery sound is just not going to fly. So we're going to replace it. Do that. So we got a stronger engine, which of course, if I need to, I can always upgrade. And what? I can't place it. Oh, it's too, too long. So that's too long. Wow, okay. I would have thought that would not be a problem. Okay, so that works at least. We'll go ahead, we'll take that out. That there. Turn it on. Wonderful. Yeah, almost to a point I want to just put it in there and instead of doing this, have a button I press. Uh, though, if I do build it taller, that would mean having to hold it longer. I think I'm going to end up building something that does this from the side. I like the idea of it being vertical because I'm using gravity to take care of it just dropping down on top. But, you know, I mean, really, if I build this laying flat... I can make it more open, but flat, I'm going to have to accommodate for the size of the tree as well. And I'll have to have some mechanism, probably with a piston pushing the trees in. I think I'm going to just build this a little taller. And we're going to push it to the limit. There we go. We're also going to speed it up so it goes a little bit faster. Boom. Oh, yeah, much better. And I can go a little bit taller. Still not great. Uh, still gonna have to do this sort of thing. It will take a little bit higher. I mean, that's, that should be a decent amount to reach. Okay, let's try it with this one. If I can even see, there we go. I can see the block. That works. Okay, so I might have to go a little bit Let's see what happens. So I'm going to turn that on. 
and that is good. I just gotta drop down, and that did not work. Okay, so I need to change things up a little bit on that. I'm gonna have to extend that out, which is fine. That's fine. I can easily extend that out. I've got plenty of this block material just because, and I messed up. I have also been lax about using any kind of lights. So I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to try it anyway and just see. I'm hoping these will work well enough just with, uh, oh, maybe I can, well, it, I don't even have to have a switch to turn them on and off. I guess I could use a switch to turn them off during the day when I don't need them and that's not going to work. Oh, I just put it on the ground right there and not have to worry about it. Well, that just simplified things. Okay, this better work. There we go. All right, so that's working. And then I just basically just toss that in. And now it's just, it'll, you know, it's, it dumps. Right? There it goes. So it didn't dump what was already in there out. I think that it would have done that. Yeah, so now unless I'm just doing a massive amount of trees like this, which is still going to be kind of touch and go working on this, I definitely feel like I want to do a variation of this in the future that works more on ground level, makes it easier to put stuff in. But yeah, that might work. And I've missed a spot. Look at that. So yeah, let's try this with the stone here. I also changed up the way I was doing this. I was using basically front rule drive. I had everything in the front, uh, you know, for rotation, for moving along. I changed it to rear wheel drive, which should help. And let's try this. Let's see if this, does it work with this? No. So I'm not going to be doing the same approach, it looks like with stone, unless I could just find a way to kind of collect it differently. But at least I've got that working better. And uh, that, that's not turning very well. <laughs> and the problem now is targeting the lower blocks. I like the taller suspension, but that's not working so well here on drilling out stuff. And that is somehow too tall for everything to pick up. I am driving right over it and none of that will pick up. That, that seems a little poorly done right there. I mean, that's, I'm not expecting it to be like super long range, but I mean, I'm like, how is that just outside the range when it picks up? Like from there, I mean, that, that seems to be logically within the range it should pick up still. And then we'll take that block out. And what I'm gonna do is easy thing, back up <laughs> to push it over. Boom. That makes that so much easier instead of trying to smack it and get into the right position. And I'm just gonna break the very end off. And that way, you know what, I'll just, I don't even have to worry about refining that. There we go. Okay. And this should hopefully be shortened enough to fit in here. No, it is not. There we go. Okay. That's done. We're going to take that block out, put it back. And that, yeah, right there in that range. And oh yeah, that's still going. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Oh, that one did not get collected for some reason. Okay, great. So there's a problem. That's too wide. It was working fine and now it's too wide. That's working for now is not pretty. It's not as effective as it could be, but it is 
very space conscious and it ultimately really uh, cost conscious. It's not expensive. It's not fancy. And having all these extra blocks that make it look nice is just an ugly stand for processing a lot of trees and really works for processing metal now too over there. And yeah, that's all I needed. All right, so that is it for this episode of Scrap Mechanic. Better production system, and I've played around a few other things like the the weld tool. I'm going to call it the mover tool because that's really kind of more what it's like from Planet Nomads. You move things around and maybe you weld them together, but I don't really see welding trees to wood blocks and stuff. So I'm going to call it the mover tool or the connector tool, however you want to call it. Welding just seems out of place for it, but yeah interesting changes to my setup but things are coming along and uh I, I did finally find cotton which is way out there and you need to look for basically it, what i thought was autumnal actually wasn't you need to find the spots with the little mounds of like leaves and then you'll find it and i had to travel a good distance but i did find it i can do some upgrading and that's what we'll do in the next episode working on some new vehicle design but yeah, that's it for today. So if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the tree chopper. And of course, hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week and I'll see you in the next video.